All right. Uh, I picked this up. This is a uh, uh, a sink uh, faucet. Picked it up. It was just sitting around there for the taking. It is. Uh, let's see if we can get this. It is brass. Okay. So the entire thing is brass. Um, yeah, it likes to go in and out of focus. There we go. Nice brass. Um, it's chrome coated. I'm not sure if I'm going to save the chrome coating or not. But we're going to make a we're going to make a fishing lure out of this. this is fishing spoon for trolling. And um, I've marked uh, where I'm going to cut. And I'm just going to cut this right here. And then also um, I'm going to cut the threads off down at the bottom there. And uh, then we're going to uh, cut it the long way, cut it lengthwise. Um, just one, one long cut down through here. Uh, and we're going to uh, separate that out into a flat piece of metal. So I'm going to cut this right here and show you where we're at. Alrighty, I've cut it uh, to the length that I want. It's a little over four inches, maybe four and a half inches. And I'm going to come in with this and cut it. Uh, I've got it in my vise. And I'm going to cut it, you know, right down, a nice straight line down there. So I'm going to pause the video and do that. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Only took a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Didn't take long at all. Um, and here I'm going to try and put a wedge of screwdriver in there to pry it apart. And then once I've pried it apart enough, I'm going to stick it on that horn there. And, and as I move it up, I'm going to hit on it with a hammer and to get it... Uh, uh, into more of a flat shape instead of the round and then once I get it uh, uh, a little bit more to the sh to the to a flat shape I'm going to put it on the uh, on the actual anvil and, and and hit it until it's flat alrighty that was a little bit harder than than I could have than I thought it would be um, I haven't done that before working with uh, brass but but I did get it. Clearly I won't be able to salvage the uh, the chrome coating. That's going to have to come off. But in any case, I'm going to have a nice uh, piece of shiny brass to work with for uh, the lure. Um, don't really like the way that this uh, kind of... This is obviously where the pipe uh, was joined together. It was obviously a piece of flat brass to begin with, and they joined it together. I don't really like that, but I think... I don't think it's. I think I can get away with uh, without it affecting the the functionality of the lure. I believe I can can pretty much kind of. Uh, here's the pattern. I can kind of go like that and capture it that way. And um, I don't even think you're going to hardly notice. Uh, once I get done, I don't think you're hardly going to notice that uh, uh, that little streak there. And in any case, I don't think it's going to be a problem as long as I don't. Uh, drill the holes over one of the fault lines. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and trace a pattern out and then I'm going to use my grinder here uh, to uh, grind it up to that shape and we'll see where we're at when, when I get that done. Alrighty, uh, this is what I've got here. Um, let's see if I've still got my, my pattern there. I think I do. Uh, so that's about uh, about right. I still need to get some bends and things into it. It's looking pretty good. And that uh, line that we talked about earlier, I don't think that's going to be bothersome. It's still pretty solid. You can see there, uh, e and uh, even where the line goes through in the back. Let's see if we can get that to focus on that. Yeah, yeah, still pretty solid. So I'm going to clean it up and maybe sand it a little bit. Uh, on both sides and maybe sand the edges a little bit uh, before we shape it and uh, we'll start the video at that point. Cleaned up pretty nice uh, I'm just gonna uh, center punch uh, some holes here and here one and one and one and then continue uh, sanding it before I start uh, giving it the bend and shaping it. Alright that's where we're at at the at the moment Hey, right, as I said <laughs> before I dropped the phone, uh, that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to 
uh, put the uh, curves and bends and chinks in it and uh, if you want to see how I, I'm not going to show that on this video but I will show you the end product um, if you want to see how that's done check out one of my other videos and uh, uh, how to make a trolling spoon tutorial if you check that out that'll show you exactly how I put the bend in it and how I uh, uh, put the hammering on it um, but I will show you the this uh, once once it's completed in just a little bit all right I'm pretty pleased with how this came out after hammering it's not polished yet but uh, uh, I'm gonna polish it and what I'm gonna do is make that be the th the uh, completed product be the thumbnail uh, for this so you know it's it's the picture you get before you click on this is what this turned out to be once again this was made from a you know kitchen sink faucet so all right thanks for watching subscribe and like thanks all right I fibbed I, I did because uh, I wanted to show you all sides of it as opposed to just uh, uh, taking a picture of it this is what uh, this is the finished product. You can still see that little line there uh, that I mentioned, um, but it's not going to affect anything. It's not in direct line of the uh, uh, eyelet here or the hook end here. Um, it's not anywhere along that line. The other side uh, obviously uh, came out really brass colored, and I was able to preserve the chrome, or most of the chrome, on uh, this side. Uh, so here you've got a gold on this side and mostly silver on this side. And we'll see what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's going to catch fish. Thanks for watching again.